Hey y'all, it's cold. We had another cold front come through here. It's only 55. I know I say only 55. I know. Stop. I know. Okay. So we're going to start off the day inside. I've got some things to show you in my indoor growing room. Look y'all, I didn't make it in the house yet, but look, there's some caterpillars outside on my milkweed. How cute are they? This one here's sunning itself. Hey y'all, I'm in my plant growing room and I want to show you the seedlings I planted, or not seedlings, the seeds that I planted in the last video. Um, they have sprouted. Yay! And look at them all sprouting. That's tropical milkweed. And I want to show you these ones up here are all emptied. They were getting so tall, they were getting to the top of the enclosure. So I moved them up here. Aren't they cute? And this way they can grow taller, but they're still in smaller containers. It's bigger than where they were. And they're all doing pretty well. See, you can see this one was like right in the center of the seedling tray below. And you can see its little um, leaves are a little burnt. Same with this one. But I'm hoping they'll come back. But needless to say, that's a nice little collection so far. There's other ones that I planted in their own pots. And so I have a few more to move. Look at all those balloon milkweeds. And then I'm going to use these and start some new seeds. So now I'm back out in my garden room and I've got the seed trays back out that I just took the little seedlings out of and I'm going to plant new seeds in. And look at how much soil is left in those that I can reuse. So that's fabulous. Now I have to decide what I want to plant. Hmm. I've got lots of options. Just gonna prep some soil real quick and uh, top off the seed trays. And this will be a super, super quick seed planting. Okay, so I'll do a row of coyote thistle. And some water cowbane. Put all my watery plants in, in this one. And then the Stokes Aster. Now the ones in the little condiment cups, these are all seeds that I collected myself. I did this whole tray, Leatris Blazing Star, because I love it. Purple cone 
flower. I think I'll do two rows of cone flower. I love them. And so do the butterflies. And these last two I'm going to fill with parsley for my eastern black swallowtails. Last time I grew parsley from seed, which these ones here I grew from seed. It took them forever to grow. <laughs> so I want to get some more parsley started right away. Okay, now I'm going to take all those cute little seed trays back inside and put them under the little light up domes and uh, we'll be checking back. So keep watching future videos and we'll see how they all do. And there they are. I'm so excited. I hope that they all germinate. And look, y'all, I got my Amazon order and my power strip. And that little box is another set of those uh, seedling growing light kits. And two more heat mats. And I've got my carts. So I just need to get my wood. And I'm going to add the whole new seed growing section along here to there and it's going to be so awesome. I'll be literally in here on my yoga mat surrounded by seedlings. Y'all, I just placed an order and I'm already starting another list. Can you believe it? Hey y'all, it's definitely getting a little warmer out. Nice blue sky still. Strong breeze. You can hear my wind chimes going. Um, I just bleach washed one of my enclosures and I'm gonna move all the caterpillars and the eggs into one enclosure. And so we're gonna go get that set up and then after that maybe we'll come hang out in the backyard. Maybe we'll see some butterflies. I haven't seen any yet. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping, 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 maybe we'll get lucky. So here is my fresh and clean bleach washed rust cloud enclosure. And um, I just spray it down with like Clorox bleach cleaner. I set it in the bathtub this time. I let the bleach cleaner sit on for like five minutes and then I just rinse it all off with the shower. So everything that could have been in here that would be harmful to cute little caterpillars has been destroyed. Putting in the paper towels. These are the eggs that I found in my last video on the balloon milkweed in my garden. And I did bleach wash them and the plant that they're on. So I'm going to put them in here with my other one. So I only have one enclosure for now to keep up with. Because I really don't have that many caterpillars. And then here is the basket with the caterpillars. Look how big that one is. They grow up so fast, don't they? So I'm just going to set this other one in here behind and I'm going to get one of my clampy clips and clamp that down. There we go. The reason why I'm putting the layered um, baskets, it's a, it's a two story butterfly enclosure. <laughs> no, not really. Um, it's because 
These cuttings are in the smaller floral tubes, which fit in this basket. And these ones just happen to be in the larger ones. So, you know, I'm always rearranging based on what I have available and what I need. So now they're all in here together. Beautiful bleach cleaned enclosure. Lots of fresh milkweed. And cuteness overload. Okay, we might have to go out and have a little photo shoot in the sunshine. Okay, so I brought them out here by my beautiful pentas. Isn't it something how they just kind of grow at their own little speed? You guys, I was so focused on him. I didn't even notice who else was out here with us. <laughs> Look at these two. That's fabulous. Okay, back we go. And they're all tucked in. Yeah, I was just walking out to just sit and relax in my garden and a butterfly just flew by me. And honestly, I think it might've been a queen. I'm gonna go try and find it. Y'all, I couldn't find it. I mean, that's cruel and unusual punishment. I mean, where, where else better is there to be for a butterfly? My neighbors don't have all this. I'm gonna go sit down and it's gonna come back. It's gonna come back. I will, I will, will get to photograph a butterfly today. I call it. It's back. Do you see it? It's a monarch. I'm gonna go sneak up on it. I'm so excited. Absolutely incredible. My day is made. <laughs> it's so windy, but it's hanging on. Oh. oh my gosh, how awesome is this? Hold it still. Hi, baby. Hang on and get that nectar. Yeah, you hang on and get that nectar. Look at these Mexican sunflowers coming up back here, too. Won't be long. Y'all, I'm, I'm not holding out a lot of hope for my papaya tree. It's looking spent. Look at that one. It's bent. I need to get that up off of my wild lime. Oh. Maybe it'll push another one out from the base like it did before. Oh, wait. Looky, looky. Look. Look. Oh, my gosh. There's hope. Look, there's another one right there. Maybe it will be okay. Maybe this one will. But the monarch came back. <laughs> 